Hello and welcome back to my Bud Bowl 2 campaign walkthrough. This time we're playing against the Grudge Bears, a dwarf team. Uh, they're going to be much better at fighting than us, but we're going to be faster. So hopefully we'll be able to use it to our advantage in order to be able to beat the Grudge Bears. Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here with all the Blood Bowl news and events. Already we've had a major development with Reichland Reavers captain Griff Oberwald. He's not played a game this season, as he's bravely in hiding from some ogre gangsters. We're still trying to track him down or talk to anyone in the Reaver's staff. At the moment, they seem to be as scarce as an honest referee. That's right, Jim. Even as we speak, Cabal Vision seers are scrying the old world. You could be anywhere. Please check under your sofas at home. It's amazing what gets lost between the cushions. Yes, okay. Well, back to tonight's match. The Reitland Reavers versus the Grudge Bearers. Any words of advice, Bob? It's dwarves, Jim. Slow, steady, and brutal. Watch out for the beards. They do occasionally trip over them. <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, Colt, you know the highest one championship game in 2004 and 93 is the Marauders. So wins your defeat of the Bugman, the best fourth team in the Blood Bowl playoffs. They won the feeling the fact that the Dwarf players have been sampling the brew after the team name. Welcome back, Blood Bowl! We'll skip over our team. Nothing too interesting. Or maybe I won't. It's not my team. Okay. We'll watch out the dwarves. Also, we're pretty cool. They pretty much all have block, if I remember correctly, and decent strength. So, uh, fighting them is going to be difficult. So, we're going to definitely be using the strategy that we used against the greenskins on steroids of trying to stay away from them as much as possible. We're going to kick the ball. Tonight's first. game! Features the dwarves. Because if we can stop them in the Short, first half, psychopaths score with in the deep second love of gold, half, we really only have violence, to run the ball down once. Sure. To beat a dwarf team, you'll need to get a few early touchdowns in, and then. Wait, this match will be more difficult to win. Deny them possession. All right, so they had agility this defeat. time, which is perfect because <laughs> the dwarves Look all have very low agility. What's that ref up to? He seems to be in deep conversation with that green, shifty assistant coach on the Reaver's staff. Well, looks like your standard bribe to me, Jim. Although the Referees Guild has strict guidelines on bribery, and that transaction looks to be happening outside the regulation distance from a dank and forbidding corner. There's something wow. iffy going on here. All right, so they're definitely <laughs> getting ready to move to the left side. Um, this guy does have three strength. We have three strength on our blitzers. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. You guys go ahead and stand up. Hey. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Nice. Okay, so we can move you up and get you off. The top, which is exactly what we want. This will get you up here, but we'll also make it where this guy over here doesn't really. Isn't going to be for sure if he wants to pop over here or try and stop this guy. Ha! There's nothing for better that, than hitting work. someone yes. smaller than so you, Jim. Sometimes the underdog This guy will be on the ground, which is nice. Plus, these two guys are now in his uh, tackle zone. Ha! Let's see. Uh, these things are very much out ha! of... Uh, where we want them to be, but we can have them over here. Hey. 
battle orc. You can put the catcher over here. He does have dodge now, so that should give us yep. This is going to be decisive here. We're gonna move both of our linemen up. I'm not gonna risk a roll because we want some guys to be standing up, but we'll have them up here ready to support the front lines. Now here's the interesting part. Is it worth Go up like here. Could, no, he cannot move through here, so that's probably perfectly safe. I don't want to risk a one dice roll. If, uh, I mean, they don't have block, but still. Nah, the guy has block. I don't want to risk it. Rex seems to be very keen to get involved. Certainly doing more than issuing fouls. Which one got knocked He's down? making the fouls. My ref's as bent as a Talian money lender. <laughs> I love it. Okay. That's it. Should not have surprised me too face. much, but uh. Jeremiah Cool always superior skills. One less optical for a ball carrier. Textbook. <laughs> Pretty good roll on this guy, which is bad. Especially if they knock him down. <laughs> yep, okay. What a shame. This big guy is not. Put a strength roll because that guy's there. Mm -hmm. You know what? Do that. Move and you up. Move the belt at the same time. <laughs> I know, Jim. You're I'm watching the same match as you. Ah, only use for a ball fighting to highlight who gets hit next. Dang it, okay. That's enough for now. Her runner has six movement. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> Who's our guy sitting out? <laughs> Just curious. Oh. They're building oh, a cage okay. around the ball here. It's a solid tactic. I think if we would have kept that guy standing, we could have knocked him to a uh, red wall. Okay. What are they in trouble with? Dead fish? 
Put some force behind those punches! The little guy! Yeah. That's the big guy! And the guy is free now. We have this guy on that one. Let's stay. I can keep having a string full. This guy can put a hold on these two, so they're not getting any extra string fulls. Let you guys stand thing up. There we go. Nuffles balls, Jim. Come on. They're going for the ball. I'll take it. Ah! Oh, wait, something's happening. Ah, we My call player that Nuffles kiss. You've got to be. Stay. I want this guy with my seven movement and actually being able to move around. They don't have any extra people out, right? Oh, I do have an extra person. They can have another long beard on. Okay, we've got someone in uh, KO. I love adding my own spy. That's it. Throw the ball in their face. That range, they'll go down as if you were flinging a brick in there. Okay. Oh, One of them should hit harder next time. I want everyone standing up. I don't think there's going to be any uh, blitzing done on this side. Hey. You can yeah. stand up. You have free strength. Come on, guys. Together. You can stay. <laughs> Is strength. That's not pointing. Well, that was still a disappointment. <laughs> Your kit, okay. Can the player force possession away from the ball holder? It's a oh. If you kill the fool carrying the ball, then you stop it. How many times are they just going to catch it off of that? Come on. That's li literally anything but that would have worked. Okay. We 
may see that player later, if they will. Okay, so we've hey. lost... One. Oh, Blitzer. Two of my Blitzers? A Blitzer and a catcher. It's a blo Let's hope Nuffle is smiling on those blocking dice, Bob. Nuffle's <laughs> always smiling, Jim. You just don't always know which side you support. Come on, just fall down, please. Focus on the ball is against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. Please just don't let a dwarf catch this. Done. I have the ball now. No, we want to keep it in the hands of our Blitzer. But this guy can definitely move back here. This formation a gives him a safe progression. It's going to be hard to make him lose the ball. Now that was a very risky, but it paid off. Okay. If that was a guy carrying the ball, I would have lost it. I could definitely cause some problems with the attacker has speed. an assist. Oh, yes. You won't leave him alone anytime soon. This guy could still push this lineman. <laughs> block on our butts. Yes. There's not any super obvious, amazing things that we can do here. So we're going to hold and hope our guys' tackle zones over here sees us through. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Yep. likes to be well assisted in a fight. I like and this. this guy's almost certainly but that dunk is about to hit the fan. <laughs> this player is a three strength smells one beard with assistance. It's a double ah, die roll. They have teammates around them. This guy can that still move over there. Right? 
month for remaining upright. Pride comes before the fall. That's it. Force them back and then pow! This player One. likes to be well assisted. Oh, my God, yes. Let's press. Oh, it's a good move. There we go. You guys are held. You guys are held. Um, we need to have one more turn. Let's see this happens. Fragile. Very fragile. I mean, I don't think these guys can catch up. I mean, what they'd have to do is send these guys over here, right? They can do that. I guess my owner might be able to if he does going for it. With fist swing, he's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Intimidation is the key. It's one of my strengths when I was still playing. Yes! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at that plan. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's this eyes rolling up into <laughs> his head. Oh. 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 Alright, we'll just run it in and finish off the half. Touchdown! The crowd goes wild! Not they are going to be watch. Tangle cells! Amazing! <laughs> That's going to perk the crowd just as the half time whistle blows. Very cool. Touchdown under their belt. So now we, we can finally get this match Boneheads are back. We saw that ref being bribed by the Reaver's assistant coach. Shouldn't he be tackling the dwarves? Uh, okay. Either the ref is confused, or the assistant coach bribed him to attack his own players. That makes as much sense as putting me on Cabal Vision. <laughs> so, do we want to be super aggressive or not? I guess we will be with you. You might as well be. Okay, with these guys, we've got decent lines. Whoa, let's go like there. on their fingers. They switched possession of the ball. Play is risky. That was very clumsy. Ha! Okay. Hey. This guy with very high movement range now has the ball. That's amazing. Hi. No, this way can't people can't move around there, people can't move around there. I think that's probably good. Okay. Hey! 
obvious hit here would be to go there to there to get a tackle on one more guy, but we'll see what they do. Luckily they hit probably the least important person, the second most least important person to my strategy. The thrower is probably the least important. We're gonna get a decent hit on this guy. Hmm. Oh, this could be fun, especially if the ball holder goes down. That's the way. <laughs> They've smacked the player to relieve his team. Well done. <laughs> Now that's a Yes. Mm. It reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> So someone, let's see, the thrower can probably come pick this up. If we have you over here, I actually probably want to go right here, get a little bit of some extra help. Butzer can come around and help. There we go, we got a two dice roll. Now it's just a simple matter of getting the ball at their feet. <laughs> it's never simple. They've grabbed the ball, a wise move, as it's quite fundamental to the game. Do we want to move and... Now nah, we'll stay. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Well, that That's unfortunately it. puts the tackles on my like guy, but uh. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? With arms like three trucks, there was only going to be one result in that spot. It's fine. We don't need to score this half. That will just probably put it out of reach. Our catcher is not in Come on, guys. great position, Losing the title. but at the very least we can get a lineman over there, and as long as the pass works, we should be no problem. This guy's providing a strength bonus, uh, this guy's probably providing a strength bonus. That's even Cinch would struggle to untangle that. That was risky. Oh no. Look out. Hypothetical situation, okay. about what I thought, but...
Okay, no. You go there. Dang, okay. One less <laughs> to deal with. I see where we got some interesting stuff we can do. Fifty percent pass and a sixty-seven percent catch. Hmm. The guy has more movement. So we can go one more, but it's a risk. It would be an even bigger risk because we'd probably want to move him. But we could throw it, then move him. And if we fail, no one can come pick it up. So here's what we're going to do. We'll run him up, but we'll also just run you up, and we'll go from there. They have one, two, three, four, five, six more turns. So we definitely like to try to score once. He's coming to help his buddy. That's gonna hurt. I don't know exactly who they're gonna move up here, but they'd be super not to move someone up there. That's a strike made with technique and precision. It's about sheer muscle. They just got moved! That's what the cool kids are saying these days, isn't it? Oh, okay, so maybe that was a good idea. This is going to be decisive. Good call. Intimidation is the key. One of my strengths when I was still playing. <laughs> With fists flailing, we only has four he's following up. We can hope to get the knockdown next time. Let's see, come on. Oh, yes! He's going to sleep, and maybe we will see him on the pitch later. Even better. Stand up. Stand up. out of range even with the going for it roll, so uh we should be good. We we'll only have four turns to try to score twice. We have two people knocked out, they have I wonder, maybe we should not do that in. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. And he's knocked out. Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right away. While we're on the subject of the Reaver's backroom staff, we've got a twerp here from an anonymous source saying that there's only a few of them left. Apparently, they've been Oh, okay. There's a guy. Uh, 
You mean they all got fired? No, I mean a massive cull. A big burning pile was seen on the reader's train. Oh, nice. Soon, he'll be the head coach okay. and the goblin assistant left. The cheerleaders have all been fired. I mean fired. They got fat and ugly overnight. Cursed by the gods of chaos. I'm mm? I spotted them leading this morning, Jeb. Mm? <laughs> I know a potion of ugliness when I see it. If I didn't know better... I'd say someone was trying to sabotage the Reaver's chances this season. Well, all of this business is certainly not helping the new head coach. Talking about it, look who's in the crowd. Hold. It's them kabassies. They're scouring the dugout looking for Griff. Well, he's not there, Bob. He's keeping a low profile. They should know that by now. Right, Every blood good. fan knows that ogres have got thick skulls, one. Jim. Takes a while for exposition to sink easy in. If they start getting... oh, I should know. Surrounded by adversaries like that, I hope he knows what he's doing. This player <laughs> smells weakness. I think that would have been another strength roll on that. The domino effect <laughs> in action. Okay, that's not great. Look at all this out on the job. They will come over the unions of this kind. That's going to work out great. So these guys are holding there. Hold, hold, hold. The bigger they are, the harder they punch. Alright, cool. So now he's up there and, and the great that's uncanny. a nice little but this time, pocket now. No medical. And you can go ahead and go over <laughs> here. You can be our nice secure little uh, I guess insurance policy to hold these guys out. That doesn't help us with any immediate wall because this guy's in both of their tackle zones. But it makes it harder for them to just run away because he's in both of their tackle zones. So really want to have to go for this. We'll follow us if he has two people in his tackle zone, and we'll go in that turn. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Team Spirit is the key. Well, except for me. That player is looking uh, rather smug for remaining upright. Uh, Pride comes before the fall. Nice. Okay. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dish. That's it. Put some back and then pow. Just to be safe, I might go ahead and run the ball and again at the end of this turn. Yeah, so I'd have to stand in this way. And he's got a chance of being pushed out of bounds. So you know what? Yeah. There we go. And they have two turns or two goals justified. Any advice for the side that's down two touchdowns? Make out your will and check your insurance policies. Keep away from the fans, because they're not going to be happy. Right, we got our Blitzer back. And they got one of their people back. Okay. The docs are doing their job.
I'm not super worried about it. I'm for this to the end of this room, I might literally just stand everybody back up and end my turn. <laughs> my big hope is I'm pretty sure there's not injuries yet. Like actual injuries, injuries, instead of just knocking out. So that I'm not worried about, but Well done, little fella. You gotta encourage the poor thing. It's not often he exceeds in such an action. <laughs> Not sure why they're going for just just back, but sure. Okay, yep, yeah, it's over. GG grudge barrels. That first half was kinda scary, not gonna lie, the uh the fact that they got the ball into my half and they had it like basically even line with my farthest back defenders was not doing too great, but the attacker has an assist. That player is looking rather smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before a fall. It's just crazy! Okay, that's fine. I'm out of time. With arms like tree trunks, there is only going to be one result in that spot. All right, After that nice. match, I need to change my underguards. Yeah, do your consta whatever somewhere else. It's another win for the Reitland Reavers, Bob. If you look on their face tone page, you can see they haven't been this popular since Jakob von Altdorf threw that match-winning pass, which also killed an inattentive troll in the same lob. Oh, how joyful. And that was nearly two decades ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Good times, Jim. It's strange. Parse down X3. That's the Reaver's enigmatic sponsor for those viewers that haven't been paying attention. Yeah, you. They are demanding the head coach be fired and replaced with the only remaining assistant coach. The shifty geezer you identified as an ex parsed out employee, Jim. Strange behavior for a sponsor, Bob. You think they'd be happy with Reitland's success? Yeah, with that of the ogre gangsters taking their anger out on the team in Griff's absence, I'd say that was a... Uh, comprehensive summary of the plot so far. Alright, we're gonna recruit some staff now. Um, re -rolls. Okay, so it looks like this new coach start getting, seems to have been listening uh, to what we say. Hey, Bob. Field actions. The team have got some extra training under their belts. And the coach gets some re-rolls. Well, we do talk sense occasionally, Jim. <laughs> well, I do at least. We got three re-rolls. Alright, nice. Next, we'll be playing the High Elves, which will be the exact opposite of playing the Dwarves. This time, we're going to definitely be trying to get to their tackle zone as much as possible. Uh, probably try to beat them up early and then score later on. If they start scoring roulettes, that's when things can get scary, because uh, high agility teams can uh, score up on you really quickly. But that's going to be in the next episode. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.